If sharks uh, aren't terrifying enough to some of you, there's a new threat in the waters off of Florida. How about sharks hopped up on cocaine? Boy, what the fuck? <laughs> Experts say sharks may be gobbling up bales of drugs, which have been dumped off the Florida coast by smugglers. Marine biologists went to study the phenomenon. They conducted experiments and spotted a hammerhead shark swimming into dumped packages and biting into them. That gave them what the scientists, scientists call crazy brain, where they behaved erratically. Oh dear, we are in trouble. <laughs> okay, you got me. I did mislead you a little bit. It was just a joke. But look, an important story like this, I honestly felt it was my obligation to get it out to you guys. You know, I couldn't in good conscience just let it pass us by without making sure everyone saw it. <laughs> and honestly, as crazy as this story is, are we really surprised, the state of the world the way it is, are we surprised that we now have grizzly bears and sharks on drugs? And yes, for those of you who don't know, there is another true story about a grizzly bear that ate a bunch of drugs. They made a movie about it. So look, if you stuck around this long, I'm going to assume you're still enjoying the video, even though I did mislead you a little bit. I assure you the rest of the video is on brand, and here's a reward for sticking around. I'm trying to get see what that be like, right? Man, look, be that that, be that that. I was just there at the function, had the shit bumping, living west wood with the bonus. I went no limit. I was just there at the function, had the shit bumping, living west wood with the bonus. I went no Dear Golf. I love you. In the 80s, women had a full bush down there, a full bush. 80s full bush, 90s landing strip, 2000s bald, 2023. Scientifically, people get under-stimulated because of the lack of serotonin in their brain. And we're in a generation right now where people are really struggling with that. The foods that we eat are lacking in the basic minerals and vitamins that we need. We need to go out and buy. And then you're going to go out of your way to seek stimulation. Any scientific data to support NERD! <laughs> hey, I got nothing against nerds, honestly. But if you watch that back, she genuinely sounds like a nerd straight out of a cartoon, the way she talks. The foods that we eat are lack lacking in basic minerals. <laughs> I just found it hilarious. And anyways, there's more to the clip. When I'm lacking B12, I might be more interested in a man that wants to get a little crazy, right? But when I got all my vitamins, wow. I'm like, okay, I'm doing better. A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit? No, it, I, no, you I think it's crazy. Going. When I'm bored, right? I, I've literally been with a man and people around me are like, why are you with him? And I'm like, because I'm bored and this is self-harm because I literally am lacking the literal serotonin. My, like, I'm so self-aware. That's okay. that's the problem with me, right? I'm so self-aware of these things, but this is the truth. Like, that's why people okay. think that. Okay, so wow. yeah, that's about as honest as it gets. The <laughs> funny part, how we chase thrills to make up for the fact that we're not all there. I've just never heard it specifically equated to B12. That almost made me Dude, you know what? Maybe a picture, maybe a picture like <laughs> if... Go ahead, Caroline. Well, someone in the chat said vitamin D. Vitamin that, it, no, but okay. okay they listen, probably She belongs to the streets. Now, historically, even female nerds had difficulty getting laid, right? But times have changed a lot. And you know we're in trouble when even the nerds are trying to come up with some bullshit scientific explanation as to why they're getting ran through. So basically, feminism is the idea that women are free when they serve their employers but slaves when they serve their husband and children? That's stupid! Use your common sense! I'm telling you, guys at the club will give you the most random compliments. It's because we're scared. You guys frighten us. I once told a girl at a bar that she had eyes. I straight up forgot to say an adjective. This girl said hi to me at a bar once, and I told her I had a NyQuil addiction in second year university, unprompted. Shit! Hey folks, just a quick reminder, if you're enjoying the video, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Like, comment, ring the bell. All that shit really helps the channel out. Uh, it only takes a second, it doesn't cost a thing. I appreciate you taking the time. Well, let's get back into it. I don't like makeup. I'm against makeup. I don't think it's good for women, and I don't think they really need to be using it, honestly. I think it takes yes. away. 
That's awesome. Makeup is it's capitalizing on women's insecurities when it's something that they can easily fix. I think it takes away from a woman. A woman. Are you delusional? Do, are, do you suffer from a mental illness? Now, I think we can all agree her makeup looks decent, right? It's, it's subtle, it's pleasant to look at, as opposed to a lot of these other women out there who cake it on so thick they look like the clown from It. But like, you have to be delusional to make a video like this, where you say you don't like makeup, you're against makeup, and then literally put on 12 different types of makeup. I mean, do you think because it looks like it's not as much, you can make a vi video like this? It, it doesn't make sense. It's fucking mental. But this is the type of delusion that, that modern women create for themselves. And look, if you think makeup is your biggest worry out there, like what a woman might look like underneath her makeup, I got news for you. Take a look at this. I wake up today, I get a DM. It says, hey, big fan, check her page. Pretty girl, Australian, looks good. Check the videos, you know, looks good. Here's the fucking problem. This girl doesn't exist. She's AI, but they didn't say it. You gotta say it. If you're not a human being, you gotta say, hey, I'm not a human being. Where would this have gone? What if I wifed her? Thought I did, scary shit. AI boys, it is everywhere. Be careful. It's in your DMs. It's in your fucking dating apps. It's some guy sitting at his computer, pretending he's a woman, asking you to send him money. And look, not only that, but now you've got AI generated OnlyFans accounts. So you got guys spending money on subscriptions just to get off to, to AI generated images. I mean, this is what it's come to now. Now look, first of all, all these OnlyFans girls that we see on these videos, all their fucking delusions, if you are spending money on subscriptions to their content, you are part of the problem. The second of all, with all we know about adult content and how bad it is for the human mind, it's like an addiction, it fucks your brain up. Like, if you must consume that type of content, why the fuck are you paying for it? It is so easy to find on the internet for free. Like, and, and even, even AI technology is free. So, so if computer generated images are your kink, like, fucking make your own, man. Like, stop wasting your money on this shit. We need to do better, boys. Do you want to know why he's not texting you right now? Pav, your date got mad you finished the sushi when he went to the bathroom. Damn, you ate all those pieces? I it that fast. really hungry. There's like 50 pieces left. I went to the bathroom, there's 50 pieces, I come back and it's gone. What happened? What Me too, gone? when you got up I thought you were done on I just had to use the bathroom. I didn't think you were like, eat. why would you get up and use the bathroom if you're not done eating? That's what, what the fuck is this? So now it becomes very clear that she's there for only one reason, right? Free food. So at this point, I split the check and I'm done. I mean, what about you guys? What do you do in this situation? Because I think most of us want to be on a date with someone who makes us want to pay, right? I still think most of us lead with that intention, but all of that can, can change in an instant depending on her attitude. I mean, at least for me, right? Her expectation of me, her appreciation, her willingness to contribute, all of that. If, if all of that gives me some reason to doubt her character, then I'm more than happy to split the bill just so I can get a better idea of what kind of person she is. Because I know what kind of person I am, and I have no intention of letting myself get taken advantage of. I've fucking been there, done that. Oh, what am I wearing? I smell good? Oh, it's called, uh, Leave Me the Fuck Alone. Ha! Everyone knows me and Timothy are besties. Yeah! Hold up! Wait a minute! Yeah, Tom, your spider senses better be tingling, old boy, because we tremor is about to start stopping your porridge. Several days later. It's not looking good, bruv. It's not looking good. Burn, when you were a kid, did you ever blow bubbles? Yeah. Well, he's back in town. I heard he's looking for you. You nasty Gotcha, bitch! Yo, Lev, when you were a kid, did you used to blow bubbles? Uh, no, I wasn't allowed. Oh, that ruins a chill. Fuck. Always remember, it's better to shoot your shot and get rejected rather than going to bed knowing you're a pussy. He ain't lying. When you're fortunate enough to actually have opportunities come your way in life, fucking shoot your shot, gentlemen, because the pain of regret 
will always be more potent than the fear of failure. And that is something even this little guy knows. This is for you girls, let's go. It's for you. For you. Nailed it! Sometimes when you think you're making the wrong decision or you have to making the toughest decision because you're thinking about somebody else and the consequences, if you think the price of winning is too high, wait till you get the bill from regret.